Hello and welcome to the inside of a Honda Civic Type R where Mara was driving and I am passengering because there is a brand spanking new Ford Focus ST and because the Civic is our favourite hot hatchback of the Mo, as you may have seen from previous videos, if you like them, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, yada yada yada. We are here at Landau Circuit in Wales if we thought we'd pitch it against the Honda. So but you're, you are, well, like most of us, you're a fan of this car, aren't you? I am a fan of this car, uh, and very rarely for me, Matt, I'll want to get serious for a bit because because this is a, a very, very serious bit of kit. Until recently, it had the, the lap record for a front-wheel drive car around Nürburgring. Yeah. Um, and I don't read into those things too much because all that tells me is that it's a fast car, mm. and I already know that. It doesn't tell me how fun it is to drive, how involving it is. So let me peel off a few layers on this car because it is a very interesting car. Um, firstly, the performance is really, really quick. Yeah. So Honda claimed 5.7 to 60, uh, just over 12 seconds to 100. It feels way quicker than that to me. Ford claimed the same for the Focus, which is 276 horsepower, yep. and this is what, 316? 316. And 295 uh, pound-foot of torque. And this feels way quicker than those numbers yeah, suggest to I me. Agree. It has two litre turbocharged engine with the VTEC system, but they've tuned this VTEC system, so they've, they've kind of ramped it up a bit. They've, they've tuned it so it gets rid of the turbo lag, so it, it acts a bit more to a bit more of an extreme when it's off boost. Okay. So it's kind of like a, like a torque fuel system. Um, oh, okay. They've made adjustments to what is already a really, really clever system. Yeah. Uh, so the engine is always on the ball. It's a mega engine. The ability to rev is still there. It's mega. So listen to that. It still revs. Oh, that's so just over 7,000 RPM. It's got mega throttle response. Turbocharged cars, you tend to lose that reviness. In this yeah. thing, you don't at all. It's a serious bit of kit, and you can, it kind of eggs you on. You can, you, I kind of, it forces you to kind of drive. It just feels really serious yeah. from here. And do you know what? It is set up to go fast. It's not really yeah. a, a, a sideways, or it's front wheel drive, it's never going to be, but uh, do you know what? I wouldn't say that it's not adjustable to rear. It's not as, it's not as adjustable as I, I remember them to be. But it feels like it's been built that way. Yeah. Does that make sense? So this thing is designed to set a fast lap time, yeah. basically. Gearbox is amazing. The brakes are fantastic once you get into them. Initially, I was a bit worried about the pedal feel. Yeah, yeah I didn't notice yeah. that. There's a slight sort of numbness there just is, at the top of the track. Initially, travel. yeah. Just while you're just sort of initially putting the brakes on, there's a bit of a numbness to it. And the actual retardation is fantastic. So yeah. uh, the brakes do bite. You know, there's, there's plenty of stopping power. Yeah. It's worth saying, isn't it, that I know this is no longer the fastest no Burgering lap no, record the, the holder, Megane. but the Megane yeah. has got two seats. Yep. Uh, and in no Burgering spec, with Oof. the carbon wheels, yep. which would have been done for over there. Yeah, 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 big time, yeah. With the carbon wheels and the carbon ceramic brakes, that's a 70 grand See, car. Yeah, yeah exactly, and it's 50 yeah. grand even without those. Yeah. Know? This is, in this spec, we, we should do it, shouldn't it? Yeah. We should do that lap. Yeah, it yeah, just yeah. feels incredibly. Yeah. And it is, I mean, I, and I feel like I could do this all day in it. Yeah. And actually, I feel like I'm driving a little racing car, to be honest. Yeah, it does um, have that feel. Mega. The turning is great, so it's got a slightly slower rack than, the, than the, the Focus. Yeah. So it doesn't feel as agile, but actually, I probably think it is. Yeah, I it's, think um, so. But Ford have done an amazing job at making that thing feel ultra, ultra agile. Yeah. Uh, it changes the direction well. I think the front tyres. They last two or three laps and then they go off, to be fair. Oh, okay. Your, your car's on the Michelin, which I think is probably a better tire. This is on the Continental Sport Contact Six. to so many engineers who yeah. say Michelins are yeah. the absolute bomb day. So, yeah. Yeah, and the body so. control when you're driving hard is great. I yeah. mean, it's, it's been getting to do anything. It has a little bit of angle, It'll but do a bit, it? it doesn't want to do that. Yeah, it's it, not what it's built for, no. is it? Yeah. But I feel like I'm in a properly engineered bit of kit here. This isn't just a hot hatch made to go fast. This thing was designed to do what we're doing yeah. now. Right, so this is the Focus ST. Yep. So it's on similar money to the Honda, which is about 30-ish, just over yep. 30 grand. It's now got a 2.3 litre engine, okay. which the old Focus RS had. Yeah. Remember the old Focus RS was basically a competitor to the Civic Type R, wasn't yep. it really? And the ST has always been the everyday... Oh, nice, wow. The everyday version yeah. of yeah. the Focus. And so, you know, it's like ST, yeah. RS. So for the everyday Focus to suddenly be a competitor to the you know, the mega hatch, yeah. the Civic. It's quite interesting, isn't it? So it's got 280 or 276 brake. Yep, slightly less than the... So it's a bit less than the Honda. Yep. Uh, they claim the same 0-60 time, but I'm, I don't know, that Honda feels so fast yep. to me. I'm not it does, yep. Six-speed manual, Yep. obviously. Nice. It's not bad, actually. Yep. And it's got a limited slip differential, yep. 
electronically controlled. Clever diff as well, isn't it? I think Clever diff, I think, yeah. And it'll also do, I think it might do a bit of torque vectoring yeah. by braking on turning. I remember when torque vectoring was that you only got it on a 911 Turbo S. You yeah. know? Can you remember? Now yeah, it's yeah, a, yeah. Now it's now a now Ford it's Focus, yeah. not even the fastest Ford Focus. And apparently it's got this sort of flat shift thing. Right. So if I want at high revs. Yeah. Oh. As long as I don't just understeer massively. At high revs. It has a limit. <laughs> you, can, you can change up with your foot flat on the throttle. All right. And it just cuts the... And it'll just cut right. the power and let you do... So hang on, let's, let's try it. Okay, that's clever. Mind you, even if it didn't have that, I wonder if it would still... Oh, but it's really just, feel, just, feel, just feel yeah. so nimble and agile, doesn't it? it? Does. It's really... It's softer, isn't it, than the, than the Honda? Yeah. But... So, one thing, that agility, I'm just because I'm talking... Yeah. The Civic, is, we, we, I think we already discussed it, it's set up to do a lap time. Do you think this agility is mega? Would that slow you down if you are going for a lap time? Do you oh, think yeah. it moves around too much? Do you think when I you think come if off you the front were, with a weight I think if you were trying to set a lap time, yeah. it would move around too much, yeah. but Ford doesn't... That's what's interesting, is Ford... Yeah doesn't go for that Nürburgring time, does yeah. it? It never tries to set it. In yeah. fact, they did, I remember them once saying, we might go for a different sort of lap time in the Focus RS. Right. We might wait till the middle of winter okay. and try and set the fastest snowy lap time. Right. <laughs> Which I thought was quite, I don't yeah, think they ever right. did it, but I thought that was yeah. quite, an amu quite an amusing. Because yeah. it's fun, I can see. It, I mean, I had a go it earlier. Just, and it's it's just, just, it does that thing that Fords do where it feels like it pivots right yeah, around here. Yeah. And when you lift off, it just involves all four corners of the car. They're really good at that. Rides curbs really nicely. And like I say, if you just turn in with with a lift, yeah. the difficulty is you sort of I sort of end up find, finding myself turning in too early yeah. and lifting and then actually by the mid corner it's all it's yeah. all over. I should just see the Civic doesn't do that. It does it a little bit, but yeah the Civic yeah. doesn't it doesn't do it anything like as as um as predictably or as nicely. With the Civic you've really got to give it a bung to do that. Yeah. Um, whereas this feels like it's, but it's, it's kind of it's, natural handling it's state. Natural state yeah, it which is. I think which I think's yeah. really cool actually. I, don't really, I really yeah, like that. That's really it. good fun. Anything you don't like about it? Or is that a silly question? No, there's not a lot, you know, the steering's really fast. Yeah. It's got the same apparently it's got the same sort of ratio, steering ratio as a Ferrari four five eight. Wow. So it's quite you know how quick they are. Well, and it's and it's turn. lighter. Uh, really and it's nice. lighter than the, the steering's lighter than the Civics. Yeah. You maybe don't get so much road feel. Maybe you don't get so much road feel back. But I don't. I don't know. It's hard to say. I certainly don't feel like I'm unaware of what's going on. Yeah. And we've done five laps. How the brakes? Good. But then I'm probably not on them. Yeah. On them as much as you would be in the Civic because the Civic just wants you to go really fast. You, you do whereas you pretty quickly. Yeah. Whereas whereas I mean we will do a lap time in a bit, yeah. won't we? And I suspect the Honda will be faster. Yeah. But this doesn't necessarily encourage you to just go for a flat out lap time. And, yeah. I, and I think that's that's the nature of an ST vehicle, isn't it really? The Fiesta is like it too, yep. really, isn't it? And the old Focus was like it. And it's, you know, the same all the way back to that five cylinder Focus RS that yeah. I really, you know, I like. And, and what, you know what I like about this? I kind of, I, maybe I was a bit down on what I said earlier, but I think actually, it's actually, but Ford have all been kind of cars for the people. And they, that, although this feels a little bit ordinary for me, it's an ordinary yeah. car that's amazing to drive. Yeah. Does that make sense? In the Honda, yeah, it's yeah, got yeah. massive wings and it's got these big buckets in it. And, uh, you know, it looks and it sounds pretty crazy. Yeah. But I this is quite ordinary, but. Less conspicuous. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Certain. But it's, although, but it's still a fantastic thing to drive. So, yeah. Yeah, they've they've done a great job with this thing. Yeah. I, I do really like it. But if you had one lap with one tank of petrol, that doesn't necessarily mean it's the better or worse car. But as a, which would you take? I think a day at a day at the Nurburgring, yeah. something like that. And you, and I would, and if they were both in the pits, I yeah. think I'd probably spend more time in the Civic. Okay. But I prefer this. Yeah. Okay. I prefer this. I, I, it's it's not as serious as a Civic. Yeah. It's not as it's not as hardcore as a Civic. It's not as fast as a Civic, but it has a bigger sense of fun and entertainment. Yeah. And it just it wants you. It, I think the, the Honda sets out to impress you. It really does. Whereas this yeah. sets out to just you know let you just have a load of fun. Yeah. And I, I, and I, I really like that. that. Yeah. Right. Which wins for you? Um, do you know what? It's so much closer than I thought it was going to be. Actually, um, I think ultimately the Honda wins for me for a couple of reasons. I like its aggression. Yeah. It feels like a little racing car, and it feels like it was. It it, can't, it sets it sets the brief it set out to it is nailed. It's designed to go as quickly as possible for as long as you as long as you as kind of you take yeah it. as long as you can take it. And I think it nails that brief. It really it's an entertaining car. It, it doesn't feel quite as agile, 
but it's not designed to be to do that, so it's not a detriment. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, it, they, they've never designed it to, to have massive angles, like, you know, on lift off. So I would, I really like this, and there's loads to like about it. I think I prefer the initial turning that this car's got. Um, I prefer the lightness that it's got. So I prefer the gearbox in the Honda. I think yep. the brakes are mega. I love the engine, and it's just the car that begs you to work it hard. I like you get in it, you sit low, the gear sticks right up here, and it just begs you to wring its neck. And and I really like that. And that's um that's how I like my hot hatches. Yeah. So I think I'd go with the Honda, but I wouldn't say you were wrong for preferring this because they've yeah. both got things that they're absolutely brilliant at. Yeah. I think they both nail the brief that they have set out to do. Yeah. Perfectly well, haven't they? They both they yeah. both hit it. But my preference. Is the, is the focus. Are we allowed to have a draw? Is that... That's fine, mate. That's viewers, fine. let us the know. Lap, the lap time could decide. So. The lap time wins, so... Um, but although... I think that means you could cheat, because you're driving... You could cheat, though. This is your okay. car. <laughs> you could ease up <laughs> down the back straight. Yeah, I won't do that. We'll see. 